So for a little experiment I actually wanted to do is toss Windows 10 on the Surface Go 3 tablet. If you're actually considering getting your hands on this particular tablet, and definitely check out my review of the tablet and also follow up review as well too if you're curious about that. But you're just not a big fan of Windows 11 or just unwilling to accept it at this point in time. Can you toss on Windows 10? Well, let's go ahead and check it out. So you do see here now that I've actually booted up the tablet from the little USB thumb drive I have here of Windows 10, the little installation. And you can actually go ahead and have this particular tablet boot up from your thumb drive um, just by hitting the volume down button and holding it down while you turn the tablet back on. And you'll see that the little Windows logo comes up, probably stalls for a moment and immediately starts to pick up your thumb drive. If it doesn't work out the first time, go ahead and give it another shot. It definitely does work, so let's go ahead and hit install now. There really shouldn't be any reason why this shouldn't work. It's actually, as I mentioned before, the Go 3 is almost virtually identical to the Go 2. Even the same model is written on the back, so it's almost as if we're just kind of uh, moving the uh, downgrading to Windows 10 or you know just uh, upgrading to Windows 10, whichever way you want to look at it. Right here, I'm actually just deleting all the uh, Windows uh, 11 partitions here that came uh, originally with this tablet. So now we just left with one 64 gigabyte formatted 58.2 um, to install Windows on. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on next. And looks like we are proceeding here. This usually does take a moment. So let's go ahead and skim through it. in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Well, it looks like the installation here went off without a hitch. I actually did go ahead and turn off and mute the little uh, speaker there just for a moment, even though she's always fun to listen to every now and then. But let's go ahead and just proceed with the just the decent a uh, default um, setup here. Just gonna do the most uh, common uh, selections here. I believe this, uh, unlike uh, Windows 11, this device will not force you to be on the internet and make Microsoft account. 
um, even if you're using uh, Windows Home. It looks like the keyboard actually came up pretty quickly, which is always great. Turn all these creepy things off. Looks pretty standard. Um, nothing particular really popping out here saying that it shouldn't be working at all. Cortana obviously still chit chatting with me. And um, let's see. Oh, oh. Voice mode on. Oh, looks like I lost her anyway. But looks like it's going to actually be a pretty straightforward installation from here. And this probably just take a moment. We'll just go ahead and browse around Windows 10 a little bit. And I believe we can definitely give it the thumbs up. And I'll go ahead and bring up the little Surface app just to show you this is actually a Surface Go 3 tablet. Here we are with your basic uh, Windows 10 setup here. I'm just going to go ahead and just make sure that it's actually at the full brightness. And obviously it is, but right now it's probably just missing a driver. So it doesn't look like there's really not much else uh, missing here. Um, just go ahead and personalize it here just a little bit. During the setup, I'm guessing it probably installed a uh, good old Windows 10 Home here. Um, just go ahead and select a different color. So what I'm going to do is actually connect to the internet and just make sure all the drivers are up and running. Probably just down, uh, I won't do any Windows update installations at this time. Reboot it and just show you the system itself. All right, so it did actually take a little while just to update all the drivers there. And actually, the tablet is kind of, kind of warm. I have to be honest. The back actually was almost a little uh, really, really freaking hot. I had to actually pull down the little kickstand here just so it doesn't burn my fingers. But no problem there. Let's go ahead and take a look here. You can see that the Windows Hello prompt is coming up here. I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect that. Let's go ahead and bring up the little Surface app, and then I'll probably just go around and browse around a little bit here. This had to be manually downloaded, though it actually does uh, come pre-installed with every particular Surface device. You can immediately see here, Windows Go 3, running on Windows 10 Home, it should actually be. And let me go ahead and bring up Task Manager. This is something I actually really miss in Windows 11. I really hope they actually just bring it back, the ability to actually open up Task Manager by uh, right-clicking the taskbar on the bottom. And you'll see while that thing up there is processing, you can see it is actually the Gold 6500Y processor that comes pre-installed on the Surface Go 3 tablet, running without a hitch there. And uh, let me just go ahead and uh, just dive into Device Manager. As I mentioned before, the hardware between the 2 and the 3 are pretty much almost identical. You see everything is actually uh, picked up without an issue. And um, <laughs> your video, uh, obviously, there. That's why, uh, unless the video driver is not installed, you won't be able to actually control the brightness until that's actually updated. So there we go. Looks like it's OK. And uh, now we got that little Let's Go button over here. Obviously, some uh, you know diagnostic stuff, asking for privacy, whatnot. Let me just click on get started and you immediately see some uh, device information for your go 3 tablet and uh, looks like we're all set here windows 10 definitely does run on the surface go 3 tablet the latest generation third generation of the go series so in case you were wondering can you install windows 10 you absolutely can and it looks like it shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. Obviously, this is only a matter of preference. I just wanted to jump in to see if it actually works, just like many people are very curious about Windows 7 running on latest uh, processors and motherboards and chipsets and whatnot. So this is definitely up to you. Do you want to install Windows 10 on your Surface Go 3 tablet or maybe even the Pro 8, other devices like that? Definitely up to you. Hope you found this interesting. Shoot a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and definitely look forward to some more. Take care, everyone. As always, stay safe. Bye-bye.